So, any differences here? I think Inspired is skipping the shop. The shop, the tower. Okay. Cutting a little edge here to get minimally away. Or ahead. But the ensnare is coming in. Oh, no. That's not how you want the series to start. But I guess it's all salvaged now. Well, uh, drawing out the creeps works a lot better for Anima. So first little exclamation mark on the side of the Frenchman. Now it's a lot about items, of course. Casino Warcraft is what Mr. Remo Demo is telling them. Is saying about this map and it absolutely is especially in the early game flute very nice for damage on the other side ah the same okay so it's fair it's even and now is anybody expanding we do have three farms here one here that makes it four ah he was lagging not good not good not good his ping was unusually high. Oh, he back. Maybe some Wi-Fi gaming. Hopefully... That doesn't bother him later in the fights. Both with four farms. Which is, as we said, usually a sign for an expansion. Here on this map you can go for the mercenary camps, get the dispel. But level 3 should be set in stone before I thought. But Anima... Just walking across. Oops! Across the camp of the creeps and loses one footman for that. Happens. Creeps sometimes rather aggressive. But with that extra creeping that Inspired did, he might be a bit ahead on the race to level 3, isn't he? So he makes up for the creeping here now. Same as Inspired. This looks very, very, very even on both sides but we got four farms into tech no expo and inspire does the same Ay! maybe the wi-fi gaming is coming in effect here two small little hiccups on the anima side but both are level three items a tiny tiny bit better for inspired the major thing here, the footman numbers in this little battle. Trying to squeeze out some mana of your opponent, keeping him busy. And we're waiting for T2 to arrive. There's definitely room. For an expansion on T2. And Anima is certainly the more aggressive one. This gives a little bit of a home turf advantage to Inspired. His footmen arrive faster. But that's about it. It is the calm before the storm. And then we'll see what the second hero choices is. Panda or Mountain King would certainly be the norm. We've also seen Paladin recently. Very interesting. I mean, it's down to the starting positions a little bit, but nobody went for the mercenary camps. Which also holds one of the big consumables here on the map. So now they're sharing the early skirmishes are Ogre. And also for Anima, it's time to hunt some more items. Went of mana stealing here. While the young Uzbek is losing the Shadow Priest that Anima stole. This might be a creep check opportunity. Anima is lining it up. Knows that the Rock Golem is still there. With his boulders, he can disrupt pretty much everything. And that's the Panda. Okay, certainly the more aggressive variant better at killing buildings than a mountain king is little crowd control very sturdy Hi. and 
Anima is taking the time. He's, I guess, one of the biggest Mountain King fans on the planet. And so it would have surprised me if he goes for anything else. So we got Breath of Fire versus Stormbolt. That's gonna be the battle. And Inspired making things exciting. Love to see it. Castle tech plus defend. And he's stealing away the shop with the Sobi mask on the heroes. Mana bar goes brrr. And this is, could be a timing for Anima, but he's walking with the Regent Scroll straight into another Breath of Fire. That might be a second. Oh, sick save here at the upper side. And the Mountain King is here, and that's exactly what makes this timing so strong. And that is Stormbolt. The magic of Stormbolt is a powerful one. A player's forces are under attack. Off we go. Okay. Inspired trying to buy time. For the tier 3 to pay off. He doesn't want to go into priests. He doesn't want to go into breakers. In the past couple of weeks I've seen some night techs and then sundering blades immediately which I found very odd to be honest maybe it's the thing when you're at around 50 food that you can queue this but so far it's all archmage and footman as a human player what more do you need an expansion maybe Shredder and Zeppelin. Not bad. And the panda gets the level plus Scourge Bone Chimes, which, especially for knights, could be amazing. Lifesteal from melee units. This is what we love. Mountain King Ring of Region. Also not too bad. Archmage keeping taps. No crowd control here, so you can roam freely. And scouts at the expansion. Yeah, yeah, the boys are taking this seriously. You can see and feel. Blacksmith only now. He forgot about that, didn't he? Whoops, no knights for now. Knights need the sharp, uh, shiny armor. And also horseshoes, of course. So without a blacksmith, no chance for the knights. And Arima's at 50% tech. Expansion, I mean. So do you have a chance with the breakers against few knights? When both are at full capacity, obviously tier 3 is better than tier 2. You don't need to be a genius to understand that. But can mass outshine class? Panda is getting weaker and weaker against Footman. But he's a good item carry. Staff online, Holy Light online. We got our eyes on the red spots, on the big prize. Spell Shield, Staff of Silence, Cut Gust Gem of Health, etc. etc. Why is Panda getting weaker versus footies? Because footmen... Nah, did I say footies? I meant breakers. I meant breakers. Because breakers are magic immune. And the more magic immune units there are, the fewer units you can attack. And it's noticeable that I'm an idiot sometimes. Look at him go. Pendant of mana. 250 on top of that uh, valuable, valuable resource. Now... Red spot for inspired. We got the first knights out. Anima is still scouting a lot, but it looks like A, heavy focus on the paladin to get him to level 2 in the devotion aura. But it also feels like he's lining up an attack with that knight power spike. Giant strength. Not shabby. Eyes on the map. Everywhere. Reinforcements as well. Anima has a town portal. What a beautiful component of this RTS it is, by the way. A town portal. 
Every RTS should have a town port. OMG! Alt SF6. 5 euros! My favorite idiot, though. That is, that is very lovely. Thank you very much. These priests are all getting attacked. And I don't think Anima's army is up yet. He doesn't have the mass. He's only 10 food ahead. But these 10 foods are on the receiving. And on the knights and the priests are only in the back. We got a staff of silence as well on the priests. So they can't even heal themselves. Only now. That was a little bit of downtime. But when the priests are healing themselves, they can't heal the front line. And that makes fighting against knights even harder. And it's... Oh my! No heal scrolls either. Inspired might just be taking it. He doubles down on the normal damage with the shredder here. Can still be repaired. And the panda is hunting these priests. That's never supposed to happen that they're so exposed to the panda. But it also is not supposed to be that the panda is surrounded like this. We have no holy light. We don't have a staff ready. That one's on cooldown. 10 more seconds. Stormbolt, clap, kill. And that might be the savior for Anima. Trying to force a town portal now to get some more time on the Archmage. Oh, he gets the stun. No way. Anima fights his way out of a very, very, very precarious situation. And if things go according to plan now, he's wiping the floor thanks to freaking heroes. But his Mountain King is also under fire. Ring of Region is obviously helping. Staff swap. Goes home. Can't. Oh no! Here! To the right hand side! Not even home! And Inspire leaves the game. Anima does it. That was rescue in the very, very last second. Oof. I thought Inspired has this. A lot of the... A lot of the tiny moves here went to Inspired. The timing was in favor of Inspired too. But then that unfortunately didn't work. So Anima 1-0 up in this best of three for the top six. Solid. Solid. Cool decision making between the two. I like Inspired. His approach with tier 3. But unfortunately, that one mistake. He, maybe it was a little bit of a trap. Laid out by Anima to lure the panda into that position because the priests were so exposed. And then the hammer fell. The hammer will fall on the next map as well, because is it this hammer fall? And match points for Anima. Game length 30-37. Nice. Alright, go, go, go! Map number two! And let's see if Inspired can bring this back to an all-out series. In the meantime, you can check if you have an Amazon Prime sub lying around. I gladly take your Amazon Prime subs. It's almost the end of the month. Maybe some Prime subs are freeing up. And who better to give it to than your favorite fool? Me. I don't know. Inspired in the blue. Anima in the yellow. Same as last time. And yes, I'm going to fix the score. There it is. You're ready to rock. If Inspired doesn't win here, he's out. But it's his favorite map available in the pool. The map pool today, kind of weird. We got Gloomstalker in. We got 
the Hammer Fallen, Springtime, Tight Hunters, and you saw Twisted. Actually, it's not that weird, is it? Where's Carson? I got a gig with the band. So, it's me. Obviously, the beginning of the game with Archmage footies again, and we're counting farms, even though it wasn't an expansion. We'll see how it goes here. We have a two farm tech by Anima, apparently. Nope, here's a three farm. Just a little bit later, prioritizing the tower a little bit more than his opponent. And I see that. I spilled water earlier on my on my desk like a freaking idiot. And I also noticed there's something under my keyboard that's spilling to the rest of the mouse mat. It is unideal. Just like this footy in position. Almost got it. In position for the creeps, and that makes the creep already a little more tricky. Gets one of the peasants. And the Archmage is here very aggressive. Anima 1.4. Oh! Oh, I thought for a second he got this, but nope. It was just that he's creeping at the same time. But man, this is so tricky for Inspired. Who creep decks it like this? Inspired certainly surprised about that. Got the item, got the XP though. And so things. Would be fine. And of course, this costs some resources for Anima as well. Rushing across loses you time. He was creeping here at the orange, but couldn't get the item. Ah! Oh, gets a footman though! At what cost? The poor peasant. Oh no. There you got it. Okay. For human mirror, relatively wild. Relatively wild early game, isn't it? And now shoes a bit on the other foot. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, last second before the Archmage can pick up the item, he destroys it. Nicely timed. In these 50, si 50 situations, I give the edge to Anima for now. Also, that deny, he's here to play. I heard uh, Anima might be at Rara Land. Yo, let the new people ask some questions, dude. They're just curious. Be a nice community member and answer them. The race to level 3 is on. Tech is quite far behind though. Okay, some misinformation in the chat. I'll clean it up later, Mind Flayer, just uh, in between games, because we've done it a million times. The Monteran! Thank you for the tier 1 sub, 14 months! I appreciate that. So, Inspired 
seemingly trying to buy some time. We're going to Mountain King now. Which then will eventually... Lead to Breaker Mirror. We both have an arcane. We get an arcane here, we get an arcane here. Alright, fine. No way. He's stuck? No, 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 no. Again, the hammer is too strong for this timing. And Anima doesn't really respect the Mountain King. As I said, he's a huge fan of that hero himself. And then running into that dwarf is a bit weird. At least he shouldn't get us around here. Wee, this is dangerous. I feel like the other route would have been a lot easier. And he keeps inspired of the map. I like it. A town is under siege. Anima is certainly the player with the bigger expertise. And so far that shines. But don't underestimate Inspired. He brought the uh, people like Leon to the verge of a defeat. But Anima seems like he's controlling the map a lot better. He controls where the skirmishes are. He controls when it's time to creep. He put a dent in Inspired's early game pretty much right off the bat. Stumbled. Okay. Inspired gotta be a little careful here. What the hell is this fight? It's all over the place. Militia are coming. Archmage was far behind. But okay, we're playing the good old priest snipe game now. Supply-wise, it's even, but of course the Militia, a big help. Anima trying to reduce the number, or both are trying to reduce the number of Priests, which will help in the first big fight when Breakers are here. And of course, winning a fight now and forcing a Town Portal means map control in the middle, which should then lead to a... Oh no, Inspired, not again! Oh no! There was a Zeppelin, but he ran into the Hydra's den and got killed there. Not Inspired's day, I gotta say. Not Inspired's day. And Anima is smashing that fight for now. Bash. Bolt. Oh, not again. Oh, not again. This time the Zeppelin is in for the rescue. Trying to be cheeky. Trying to be... Ah, he's gonna lose it. Oy, 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 oy. And Anima with the freaking 2 0. For a match with two players that have basically identical MMR, this was rather one sided. And Anima being the better player. GG, 2 0. Clean. Whether that was on Twisted or on Hammerfall. He was a bit far behind. He was a bit behind on Twisted, but then brought it back. 